Hey everybody, my name is Kenny Moore, welcome back for another video of Suicide Run. We're gonna do this series, boys. In the last video, we made a couple of big time decisions. We entered the chapter 2 as well. Uh, if you uh, missed the last video, go ahead and watch it before this. Very important decisions came ahead. Some people are pissed at me. Other people are happy with me. And I'm in depth now, so we'll see how uh, things are gonna move on, but... Right now, uh, let's keep going. Regional investment decisions. An evening walk with Monica. I don't have time for this. Let's just do the regional investment decision first. All right, uh, what is this? So, Gus Menger and Simon all have prepared the, an extensive regional investment package to uh, revitalize one of the three economically fragile regions by boosting the municipality budgets. Providing large sums of budget grants and giving cheap loans to companies with Liquidity, uh, liquidity problems. Uh, the problem, uh, the proposal can be implemented in one of the following regions. All right, so which one do I want? Uh, England, England, Lauren, or Bergia? Which one do I want to upgrade the most? Hold on, I gotta choose first. Uh, where is England? I think England. Okay, so this is the province right here. Doesn't have too much of a problem actually. I don't think so, at least. Uh, it does have poverty, I do remember that. But I did see over here that they had problems with the economy. Bergia and Lauren, basically. So, which one is uh, Lauren right here? Because the uh, Narnius is not even an option. Bergia doesn't really need our help. I never really saw it. Lauren right here. It's mostly for the ports. I'm gonna go for England right here. I'm gonna go for England. Uh, let's uh, invest in England, boys. Uh, there we go. And now we're going to probably have minus two of government budget. How fun is that? Our economy is going down and down, boys. I think the way it works is if you're in the minuses for the budget, your economy is, is going to keep going down, I think. Economic development. Yeah, I think it's going to just keep going down. But it went up, actually, this time around. Don't know how. I think it's over time, right? The right stuff happening. So I did up my economy, but... My budget's going down, so I think every time you skip a new part or a new chapter, stuff is going to go down depending on how much uh, in depth you are, probably. I don't know, I'm not sure. So, an evening walk with Monica. It was an early evening, still light out with just a faint nip in the hair. Frank, uh, Frank was at the Friends and Dina was in the art class. Monica and I decided to go out for a walk before dinner. Our favorite place for a stroll was the nearby Capitol Park, the largest green space in all of Orsled. Orsled. I can't read right now, boys. This is too much. Another favorite path, a uh, one uh, or wound. What is it? What? What are these words, man? Okay, whatever. Uh, to private pond where the children could swim in the summer. I was told that Sol himself had been, had it built. The benefits of being pres the president. Uh, Monica met me by the door and we put on coats and hats as I was going to su I was going to suggest we talk towards uh, walk towards uh, Seoul Square but the guards told me it's been closed for an yet another protest I wonder what who they are protesting protesting this time probably me all the time what does it matter the two sides of the same coin common togs uh, fogs most of them are communist again well, no I am a communist those young stars are taking it too far. What does it matter? They're all the same. You always did believe yourself to be above the fray. Funny how becoming a president changes one's perspective. I was young and stupid. I don't know any. I didn't know any better. In any case, where shall we go? I'm not sure Capitol Park is a wise idea in this climate either. You're right. It's not worthy worth the risk. Uh, nonsense. We have our guards. There's nothing to be afraid of. Exactly. Look, well, I'm not I'm not scared of anybody. We're gonna go wherever we want. If you say so, let's go then. Before the children get home. And informed the guards about our work and we left the house. The guards followed us with uh, a black Kalida, uh, Gadila as we excited, exited the uh, gates. Walking briskly, we reached the Capitol Park in minutes. As we entered the park, Monica broke the silence. So, how was your day? Paperwork, endless meetings, the usual nightmare. I'd rather not say. Well, how was yours, actually? Avoiding my questions, are we? Very well. Oh, it was fine. I caught up on some reading with the children were at school. As we reached the, ri uh, the river, we saw uh, Jonas 
Krona, the former minister of justice, walk in the opposite direction. I remember that Naya Morna used to be his vice minister. He gave us a quick nod of acknowledgement. Ionas had, uh, had once found Arden strong against uh, Seoul's judiciary reforms, but after years of the government blocking his every move, he gave up on his ideals and became a part of this uh, of the administration. What did our ideals really mean if they could be changed so easily? What about the people we idolize? Ev Evelyn also ca came round came round for tea. Uh, she says, "Hey, she was feeling rather low, though." Apparently, she and Peter had are, had a bit of disagreement. I haven't seen Peter in a while, actually, so I don't, I couldn't know. Was she nagging him? Uh, was she nagging him for uh, Peter in the doghouse again? That happened. I'm just gonna keep walking in silence. Apparently, Peter had too much whiskey as usual and didn't behave when his, uh, Evelyn's father was over for dinner yesterday. You know, Peter, what do you think of this? Well, that he's not like I, I don't care. It's not my, none of my business. It's a rough patch, to be honest. I don't care. Maybe you should. He's your vice president after all, and they're our closest friends. Being married to a shrewd like you would make everyone turn to the bottle. Oh my god. Well, I can't say something like that. Aren't you glad? Well, aren't you glad you and I don't have can that, these kinds of quarrel? Didn't say anything. She kept walking. You know, Evelyn hasn't been the same since uh, uh, what happened to her and all sorts pa uh, post last year. You remember how she got fired for supporting Alfonso? Peter tried everything to get her job back, but, she, but it didn't work. Maybe he didn't try enough. Well, she had it coming, a Saturday for journalism and free speech. Look, maybe he didn't try enough. I don't think anything uh, would have worked. He was, it was a sad day for freedom of the press. But enough of the victims. Uh, I also spoke to Janice on the phone. Who? You remember my friend from university? We were in the Swordish literary class together? I don't know who the fuck you're talking about, my girl. A few years younger than me, red hair, scare on our forehead. Forehead, we had dinner with her and her husband once or twice. Neither the, neither the name nor the description, uh, description uh, ring the bell. Yeah, I don't know what the hell she's talking about. Right, right. I still don't remember her, but go on. Anyway, she's been working on an executive assistant at the Violet Picture Film Studio. She recently became pregnant and asked her boss for paid paternity leave. And, and guess what? She was fired. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, that's really sad, isn't it? So what? So what? She was sobbing, and then I asked her about what happened afterwards. They, they immediately replaced her with a younger, less experienced man, the son of an executive, no less. Well, this uh, that is utterly ridiculous. So she called the the help. So she called the first lady to ask for the help, right? Nepotism, huh? They must have wanted him uh, in there along all along, I guess. That doesn't justify what they did to her. As it happens, another friend works on, uh, for a television station, and that I. That's hiring sec secretaries, so I connected the two of them. That doesn't solve the deeper uh, problem, though. Terrific problem solved, then. Really, Anton? After everything we've talked about? Women in this country are still seen as wives and mothers first, human beings second. They are harassed at work, underpaid, blocked by from positions of power, and those are the lucky ones. The fact that there are still places in the country where little girls like Dina are denied the right to an, to an education. Well, that's gonna change. Education, I just upped it, my girl. Right? Like, chill, alright? One thing at a time. It's not... It's not a... It's not a uh, pressure matter... It's not a, a matter for me right now. I don't really care about it right now. Yes, I will do what I can to change that. Go on. I'm sure the parents have their reasons. You know, it is what it is. What kind of reasons, Anton? What could justify this? Well, poverty. For for, for first, then work more work must be done to grant everyone an affordable education. And in the meantime, these girls and women like Janice need some someone to speak on their behalf, a role model, a successful woman. We were right in front of one of the park be uh, benches that leaned uh, the river. Monica gestured to it and we sat down. Bring, uh, which brings me to the point. I know that the mayor of Angrica, Curtin Leste, who the fuck is that? This guy? Okay. 
uh, will be delivering a speech uh, at the annual opening uh, of Ben Fee Festival. My wish is to take his place and deliver the speech instead. Leste uh, was one of Sorland's most influential politicians. He had started his career in Ben Fee before rising to power in Enrica. Memphis' current mayor had personally invited him to make the opening speech. Replacing him with Monica would likely anger him. Not enough to cause a major incident, but enough that he might not support the assembly. Oh, alright, well. I'm sorry, wife. I'm gonna have to fuck you over on this one. I, I need this guy. Alright, I need my vote in the assembly. Every vote counts, so forget about your woman's bullshit. I need to, I need to vote for the constitution right now. Alright, one thing at a time here. I want the base speech on the woman's right in Sorland, on the upper oppression and discrimination we face, on the basis of our sex alone. I want our verse, voice heard, blah blah blah. Monica's eyes were bazzling with a fire and I haven't seen, and I hadn't seen since we uh, were students. She wanted this badly. But I had to be careful with promises. You're, you have my full support, sure, it's, a, it's just a speech. Or does it have to be a festival? Why can't you make another your speech another time? Exactly. You can't make your speech another time. Right now, it's just not... Like, I'm not going to give you that time. You can choose another one. It has to be now. Thousands go to this festival. And millions watch the speeches at home. Sorens woman can't wait any longer. Absolutely not, then. Alright? It's out of the question. I don't understand. Isn't this something you care about as well? I care about everyone's rights, not just women's rights. I can't be focusing on one thing and then forget about the other thing. I gotta, f I gotta focus on everything. And your woman's stuff is not important right now. It really isn't. Let's be honest with that, uh, with each other right now. What's important is getting the constitution done so I can actually get stuff done afterwards. Once the constitution is there, I'll be st I'll be able to start for women's rights, workers' rights. I already started working on the workers' rights, you know? But I can't be working on everything at the same time. It's just not... It doesn't work like that. I don't want you... I, I want you to step into politics. Sure. Uh, sorry, but I can't make Curtin less, uh, less than angry. It's not the right time. So is facing too much political strife. We have to deal with women's rights later. I don't want to be selfish, but it's just how it goes. I gotta. I can't make him angry. What little trouble this uh, this causes in the short term is nothing compared to for the lasting positive changes it will bring, not just for women, but all for but for all certain. No, I don't think so. Monica was silent for a while. When she finally spoke, there was a chill in her voice. If that's truly how you feel. So be it. We walked back home. Neither of us looking at each other. She can't be mad at me too. Seems like every goddamn woman of this country is mad at me, boys. But look, it, I'm doing what I can, alright? I gotta, I gotta make some choices. And these choices mean that I gotta, ang uh, I gotta anger some woman. I don't really care, alright? Right now, it's not my main problem. I'm in debt, first off. My economy is going down because we keep going down every time. So uh, we're basically going big time into big death right here. So we, we got to do something. So we're investing in England. An explosion in Dar, three killed, 22 wounded. Smola condemns our Cajun soldiers in Lesbia. Not good. All right, so I turned her down. Of course, I rejected her. I mean, I, I need the votes. That's just how it is. I need all the votes that I can get. So economy, investments in England. That's done. Order, state security privileges. All right, let's see what we got. So we got two things, Langbird. Briefing on the highway construction project. And we got a report right here. Young Swords members arrested and face terrorism charge. There we go, because they have been banned. Uh, National Business Council, be, uh, all right, so discussion of changes to the tax system. I'm not gonna do that just yet. Uh, I think I wanna get the briefing on the highway project first. I think uh, I wanna see what's going on with that. So, but the main pro uh, purpose of our visit was to resolve the strike that began to endanger the deadline. Okay, so there's a strike uh, slowing down our project right now. It's not good. Mayor welcomed us at his mention and uh, praised us for a decision to extensively invest in the England uh, region. Of course, uh, dozens of people were outside to ma the mention grounds and chanting party slogans and show of support. 
We gathered the city all. Simon looked at the, a little worried, but Leas was dead serious. There also was a message of support from the mayor of Arvory, Eric Neal, who uh, was grateful to, for the investment. After dinner, we moved to a meeting room. Simon began. A Toros holding has reached uh, out to us and requests more funds. Do you see my budget right now? Do I look like I'm rich or something? As per the report, they have sent the fini uh, to finish the highway on, ten, uh, on time. They, they realized more capital is necessary to do neighbor, uh, new labor laws. Okay. We scheduled the construction to finish sooner, but Taurus Older might miss the target uh, with the current trajectory. This is unacceptable. I should have known that a cheaper offer wasn't technically possible. We, shouldn't ha we wouldn't have the issue if we decided to go with uh, th these guys instead of Taurus. Like, shut the hell up. All right, I'm doing what I want and we're gonna keep the deadline as it is. It doesn't matter. Now they are requesting more funds to be able to cover the increased cost. If we don't provide, we could face a delay which would enda uh, endanger our reputation. I do not permit uh, incompetence right here, all right? No incompetence in my goddamn country. What is this? None of us and uh, uh, none of us do and this is specifically why there is there was a brief about each companies and political uh, Potential issues. No point to delve in the past now. Well, one thing is for certain, our administration must avoid working with Taurus in the future and opt for safe choices. Mistakes happen in any project, my girl. Shut the fuck out. Maybe, um, but we could uh, have avoided this issue. There were warning signs around Taurus all along. We will sink more money into this and let them figure it out? What, what is their decision? Give, uh, give them the addition of the funds? We don't have funds to spare. Yeah, we don't have fun, uh, funds to spare. It is what it is. This is uh, this will most likely cause a delay, but uh, they will be informed immediately. Yeah, they just have to deal with it. I have no expectations of hitting that opening deadline at this point. Uh, well, regardless, the decision is made. Well then, thanks for coming. Uh, good night. All right, let's leave this place. All right, so that's not a good news. It's going to be a delay for the building. It was going all right as well. It was going pretty good. We we're half done. I guess it's going to be a, some sort of delay. Well, any project, any construction budget uh, is, always has a delay, boy. So it doesn't matter. Uh, I made my decisions. I'm not going to. I don't regret it. Uh, let's time. It's time to do the discussion for the tax system. What are we going to do here? We had a great view of the beautiful Lachevin. I looked outside for the tall glass windows. Martian sea stretched out to this high sea. Blah, blah, blah. Cargo ships. Uh, carrying precious goods in and out of Sorlin. Tracing back to the paths of the ships, I looked at the arbor. Lachavin was one uh, was the home to one of the largest arbors in the entire continent. May many dockyard workers were loading and unloading these containers. Work never stopped here. The door opened. Simon, my, uh, Mikkel, and Idiot uh, entered the meeting room. So who are they again? Co-chairman of MDC and CBS. Okay, so these are the girl, uh, the, the two people I. Uh, I went for right. I uh, I dined with, I guess. Mr. President, nice to see you. Good afternoon. Right, st great to see you all. all. Right. So Simon put down his bags on the table, started collecting his documents. Uh, before we start, I would like to mention some rumors that I heard. Workers' Rights Act did not sit well with many business holders. Well, they can they can deal with it, I guess. All right. It's very important that workers have rights. I mean, come on. What is this? The 19th, uh, the, the 19th century or something? Come on now. Especially the first section about the minimum wages. I heard the same. This has caused these businesses to lose millions of rents just overnight. Unfortunate, uh, really, especially during a recession. What is unfortunate was that this bill was enacted uh, uh, this late. Exactly. That's uh, what's unfortunate. Neither of them responded. Simon waited pa patiently. Once everyone was ready, he adjusted his glasses. First of all, I would like to thank everyone here for the wor their work in a, our tax system reform. We all know our complicated and current system is in this work is and this work wouldn't be possible without you. He turned to me. The ultimate goal here is to end the recession. Before we move ahead and start formulating a plan, we need you to determine a direction, Mr. President. We have a few possibilities as a result of the work we have done so far. We can increase, maintain, or decrease of taxes for large corporations. I believe some of us in the room have a few strong opinions about this. 
In parallel, we can increase, maintain, or decrease the taxes for small and medium businesses. Uh, let's start with the large corporations and we'll move on to small businesses. Well, what is the outcome? What does everyone think we should do? First off, I don't think we can do anything at this point. Although I would have preferred to decrease uh, in taxes, it doesn't seem to be possible. Our international trade is driven mostly by the products of these corporations. They are uh, the backbone of our economy. Exactly, an increase should be out of uh, with, uh, other questions. These companies are the backbone of our economy and are already out of res uh, recession. So we can't increase. All right, so we don't want to increase the budget, that's for sure. Well, obviously, I, want, I don't want to increase the taxes. That's, yeah, that the cra increasing the taxes would be very bad. I want to decrease it, I think. Is there a downside to keeping it? I'm ready to make a decision. I don't really care. I already know very well. All right, so increase would give us more budget. So uh, the taxes for large corporations and balance it with decrease it for uh, small businesses. Maintain the tax for large corporations. Uh, we'll decrease the taxes, which uh, would give us even less uh, budget. Well, we are working very closely with the um, these people, but I gotta increase the taxes, boys. I gotta increase taxes because I need budget right now. I need government budget, so it is what it is. You're making a mistake. Is, there a tr is this a threat? This is going to have a dangerous, uh, outrageous effect down the road. And now the president has made his choice. Well then, I have taken note of our actions I will put it to implementation, implementation as soon as possible. We will be uh, giving people some relief by enacting tax breaks for small and medium businesses. And there will be an increase for large corporation taxes, which will help us sustain our balance. Exactly. I need my budget to go up, boys. Simon organized the stack of papers he had in front of, placed them back into the briefcase. Well then, thank you everyone. That will be all for today. Uh, good work. All right, good work, everyone. All right, so everyone left. Look, I'm making some very hard decisions here, boys. Everything's going badly right now. But I have to increase the taxes. I need my budget to go up somehow, boys. And it's the, it's the corporations that are going badly right here. So I'm only hurting the corporations, not the people. As long as I don't hurt the people, I'm going to be fine. So I, I, I should be all right, boys. So let's see right here. New economy. Tax breaks for small and business, uh, medium businesses, which is very good. And tax breaks uh, for this, uh, for the large corporations. So I, I'm okay with that. I mean, Walmart, they can pay more taxes. I don't care. I don't care if it's going to anger some people. So the Queen Beatrice English is called Swordland a threat to world peace. You're a threat, my girl. All right, you want to go? Let's go. All right, you, you want a war? Let's, let's do that war already. All right, uh, tax cuts for small. There we go. Torren Hill School win, uh, wins reward. Red Youth calls for peace. So earlier today, one of the leaders of the Red Youth spoke to the public and to condemn the opportunistic looting and violence taking place in the cities across Sorland. All right, uh, saying it is not being done in the name of Bernard Circus. Circus. He denied terrorist allegations and condemned their, the attacks. So it looks like the Red Youth... He's calling for peace treaties, boys. Uh, so it might be... The struggle might be uh, ending soon. Large corporation taxes increase or uncalled for? Oh, these economists, boys, I swear. These goddamn capitalist assholes. All right, Smolak threatens the new military uh, incursions targeting BFF. Let's see what we got. Liren. Visit an inspection of the schools in Liren, boys. Let's do it. With our new increase in budget, right? We, are, we should be all right. We uh, should be doing very good for our increased budget of education. So the prestigious Thorn Hill School was situated uh, close to the suburbs, just outside of the city center. The building was flanked by two hills and each beautiful, beautifully dotted with, uh, with scrubs and flower. Lucian, Chiara and I got out of our cars and met at the entrance. Our presence had not gone unnoticed Apart from our guards, there were at least 10 reporters following us around. Paparazzi's boys. Uh, that must be the principal, right this way, sir. Principal was a man of short stature with a bushy mustache and a bushy mustache and a pair of glasses. He appeared us uh, he approached us quickly, but, but was st stopped by the security guards. They started patting him down and searching him. That won't be necessary. Uh, let him through. Mr. President, such an honor to meet with you. Shake his hand and smile for the cameras. There we go. 
Uh, welcome to our humble school. Sorry about the security guards as a necessity standard procedure. All right, let's go. Excellent. You must be Mr. Galati. It's a pleasure to meet you. And Mr. Walda, so good uh, of you to come all this way out, uh, all the way out here. There we go. At the entrance, the school mall, uh, motto was inscri inscribed on the wall in giant letters. In strident seas, er uh, inginikar avgerenya. Uh, int ola armegorvatene. Int ola mexis. I think I read that the proper way, boys. I don't know what it uh, what it means, but I think I've uh, pronounced it the proper way. I'm pretty sure. Maybe I, I, bu I butchered it. I'm not sure. Education is the pr uh, premise of uh, progress in all societies and all pr uh, families. Okay. Uh, we walked through the gates. There were many students lined up in front of the stairs to the main building. The school band started playing as we entered. All the students immediately snapped to attention and turned to me. Looks more like a military institution than a school. Well, exactly. That's what we pride ourselves on. Discipline at the utmost importance uh, is the utmost important is in our school. What is this? North Korea, boys? Uh, some disi the discipline never hurt anyone. Well, we need more educated people, not soldiers. Exactly. Well, uh, oh, on that we are aligned. I can assure you that our uh, students are very well educated. In fact, our school is one of the top 10 middle schools in our southern. Southern, all right. Now we will watch the students ta uh, take their daily student oath. Student oath? Okay, all right. This looks a lot like a Germany type of thing in the 40s, boys. I don't like this. A boy and a girl went up to stage and grabbed the, their microphones. The students turned to them. I am sword. My, uh, my strength lies in my blood. I will uh, give res I will respect our honorable elders. I will protect the young. Huh? What are they saying right now? My life belongs to the Sorland now and we will belong to it forever. What the hell is this? This is creepy. Let's stop it. All right, this is very creepy. Uh, now that the kids clap loudly. Uh, I'm not going to do anything. This is very creepy. I almost forgot the words. Which, uh, which uh, proves, proves the uselessness of this host. No one even remembers it after they graduate. If you wish to follow me, we will take a look at one of our, um, one of our classrooms. Through the hallway, we made our way uh, to classroom 7A. As soon as I entered, the whole classroom rose up and snapped to attention. This is literally a military base right now. I don't know what to say. This literally me. Uh, like you've seen these video boys, videotapes of Germany, schools in Germany in the 40s and stuff when they were getting brainwashed, the chill, the childs and stuff like that. This looks exactly like that. This sounds exactly like that. I don't like that. This is, this is not what I wanted. Sit down. Well, at ease, everyone, at ease. Well, sit down, please. All right, everyone, sit down. Susan sat down. The same boy and girl walked up to us. Uh, these are the two. Uh, our two. These are the top students of our top class. These are, and there, and this here is my son. Well, that doesn't surprise me. The boy came before me, saluted me like a military officer. Help, Mr. President, what you want to be? Mr. President, I want to be a general, sir. Bullshit, you want to be that. I'm ready to sacrifice myself for the country and you, sir. Well, this is nonsense. Why are you teaching these students? The president looked extremely surprised. What is it not to your liking? I am so sorry. The camera flashed. This is simply ridiculous. You are raising soldiers here, not students. Exactly. This is ridiculous. I know I'm, I like the military, but I'm not going to push children to go into the military. Now, this is getting really ridiculous right here. The hell is all this? I'm so sorry. I will immediately perform disciplinary actions. You will do no such thing. How about you, young lady? What do you think about this? She's our top student in this school. Her excellent grades are too. I didn't ask you. Oh, Chiara is being is mad, boys. She's even madder than me. Holy shit. Uh, she bent down and gently addressed the young student. What do you think about your school? Just between us. I'm sick of having to knit and sew while the boys need, learn science and chemistry. I'm smarter than all of them. Why do I have to take these stupid Encraft classes? Do you, uh, do you know who you talk to, who you are talking? Shut up. Let her speak. 
There we go. I like Shara, boy. She's a, she's a, she's a nice woman, man. That, that's a, that's a girl who's got some, uh, some firm, uh, some firm stuff going on right here. She knows how to talk. All right, so she represents a presence that emboldened the girl. She went on. My math and reading scores are the best in her school. In the school, we bo but they don't. They won't let me take the classes I went. I want just because I'm a girl. I want to be a scientist, not some soldier's wife. You heard her, Mr. Principal. Uh, Mr. Principal, you will make necessary changes at once. All right, as you wish, sir. At once. I would personally check back and ensure that the changes are made. Yes, sir. The camera flashed once again. I looked around the classroom and saw a large portrait uh, of Colonel Soul. Take that down right now. Uh, but, sir, there is a, this, there's, that's a portrait of Colonel. We can't just take it down. Lucian, do it. Lucian took the frame down and gave it to the principal. Even the reporters looked confused for a minute before taking many photos of the portrait being taken down. Shara was smiling. When she realized I was looking at her, she nodded. Well then, unfortunately, we are almost uh, out of time. We have other meetings we, uh, to attend to today. Thank you for the warm welcome. Mr. President Lucian, please go ahead. I would like to speak with the girl alone. Very well. well let's uh, let them be boys together. Thank you for visiting our school, sir. Come on, class. All students in the classroom yelled, but the boy whom I met was the loudest. Uh, Morta was core, uh, West Core. All right. Victim Silas. There you go. I'm just going to say it. After another round of photos were departed. Okay. So that was a very weird uh, uh, outcome right here. What the hell? What well, they said I was going to go to a school, boys. I didn't expect a military school. What the hell was that? That was very weird indeed. The children being literally treated like Ger Germans in, 40s, in the 40s. I don't like this. This really needs to change in quick. Like I know I'm increasing budget in education and military at the same time. That doesn't mean both need to be combined. They, they need to be separated from each other, boys. What is this? All right. Well, we're going to stop it for today. That was a very interesting meeting indeed. Uh, remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.